into the middle. Okay, any questions on the rules for me? Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my words at command at all times. And if I tell you to stop, you stop. Now touch gloves, get ready for war. Right back. So here we go, and Rob, I understand the betting on this one is in. That's right, the Pro Elite polls just landed on our desk, and it has Mario Sorovskis at 63%, with Ross Point in at 37. What do you make of that fight, Professor? Well, I think that if uh, Ross heard about that, it would make him even more angry than he is, because he wants to go out here and make a uh, demonstration. And he's pointing and opens up with a high kick. So at the moment, both guys trying to close distance, trading kicks. Zoromskis, the southpaw, is going to be dangerous with the straight left and the left roundhouse kick. Poynton seems to be taking it to him and trying to get him into a slugout. And look at that low kick. Boy, that put Ross down for a second. Yes, Rob, this is the remarkable thing about Poynton. He will know all about Zoromskis, his strengths, and yet he stood there in front of him willing to trade. That's Ross. That's the gladiator for you guys. We know he likes to stand and trade. Originally from a sand shell background, which is predominantly stand-up kickboxing. I think Russ will be comfortable there. And Steve, the incredible thing here is Ross Pointman has fought at heavyweight, light heavyweight, middleweight, and now he's down in the welterweight division. It's the best way for him because he's not the biggest guy. I mean, you know, he should really throw that straight right like that. That's his key to opening up the puzzle. The, oh, coming in with that flying knee. Zoromskis is very dangerous with that weapon. That's right, Marios finished his last opponent with that very same technique. And again, clips the side of Poynton's face. Ross has got to duck to the left, not to the right. Because if he ducks to the right, he's going to duck right into that left flying knee of Zoromskis. He also almost at that left leg kick, Rob. That's right. Pulled Marios off balance slightly. It's a very nice sharp opening from these two men, though. Yeah, the, uh, if I were uh, Ross's corner, I would have him circle to his left. Away from the hard weapons of Zoromskis. Because uh, Marius is left side dominant, meaning that straight left or that left knee or high kick are going to be the big weapons. You don't want to move to the right against a guy like that. But Poynton got through with a knee on the left side of Zoromskis' face. So he's very dangerous here himself. So Romskis with that left down the pipe, trying to set things up, get things started. Again, Marios with that flying knee, rocks Pointman. I tell you, this guy is dangerous. Ross has got to know that left knee is coming. <laughs> I mean, guys, knowing Marios' striking pedigree, are you surprised that Ross hasn't taken it down to ground yet? Uh, I'm surprised that he hasn't moved in for the clinch in the attempt to do so. Uh, Marios just threw a crescent kick, one of the most underutilized kicks ever in mixed martial arts. I don't think anybody's really been hurt with a crescent kick yet. No, to be effective, he's really got to land with the, the heel there on that kick, and it's hard to do. It's a risk. But one of the things we mentioned about Ross not doing that, but at the moment... He is coping well, I feel, at this range. I think, he, if, if anything, he's trying to make a mental statement to Marius, but Marius is not going to get broken mentally. So uh, I think that Ross just basically should get into the fighting aspect rather than just trying to sit in the pocket with this guy and show him that he can take all his shots. Marius looking to catch Ross as he makes his way in. Ross is single-shotting right now, not setting up anything with a jab or anything, just throwing the right kick. Marios was caught with a knee earlier in the round above the left eye, and now that punch has opened the eye up. Marios is bleeding from a cut above the left eye. Could prove, prove to be a problem. Blood starts to run in his eye. It will. From the position of that cut, the blood will run into his eye. Good exchange there, Lo Ross is going low finally with that roundhouse kick. A big knee, explosive right hook misses.
Good shot by Ross. The legs went slightly of Marios then. Yeah, Ross is doing a good job now of countering, and this is what he wanted. At first it seemed like it would be a mistake to stand right in front of Zoromskis, but now he's starting to connect with punches and kicks. Ross is pushing the action, maybe taking over here. Good kick to the body lands. Again, another good kick to the body. Puentum finding his feet in the first round. Zoromskis and Puentum trade. Zoromskis off balance as the round ends. Fantastic first round. So guys, what did you make of that first round? Steve? I think it was a very close first round, and Zeromskis was dangerous, but he missed with a lot of his shots, and look at that. Ross landed that knee, and that was the thing that may have clinched that first round because they were both dangerous, but those flying knees were basically blocked. When Zeromskis comes in with that big, huge weapon on the left side, Ross is covering, and he rocked Zeromskis right at the bell at the end of round one. So here we go with round two. And so, is it up, fair to say that you Place feel up. Ross Ready? Pointing has won this Ready? first round? I would say I would give him the round. Zoromskis came up short with a lot of respect. He threw a lot of things, but they, none of them landed. And he's always dangerous, but the big if. If it doesn't land, it doesn't score. Ross really wants to counter anything that Zeromskis uh, throws, and Mario's now circling. And Rob, reputation has proved worthless here against Ross Pointon. He's ignored it, hasn't he? He certainly has. I think he's done his homework on Marios. Doing a great job at the moment of just taking it in, soaking it up, and retaliating with some fantastic counter shots. Ross Pointon has something that you can't manufacture in a gym. He has the will and the want to fight. He loves to scrap. And an overhand right there, landed clean. And Zeromska's really trying to stay away from uh, Pointon right now. He's trying to circle, gain his, gain his feet, get his win back. Pointon doing a great job of handing him down. Mario seems to be in trouble. Oh, good right hand by Pointon. He really is making a statement here, Ross Pointon. The more accurate of the two at the moment, guys. These are sharp exchanges, but it's the gladiator that's coming out on top. Pointing, just blasting away with that right roundhouse kick. But this begs another question, guys. Have you ever seen Marius Soromskis in a bad fight? <laughs> Never. <laughs> he seems to bring the best out of his opponents. He really does, but what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing an evolution of Ross Pointon. Okay, we got a low kick there, but uh, Marius is okay. I've seen the evolution of Ross Pointon. He's much better technically, keeping his hands up after the punching exchanges, punching, then kicking. Oh, he almost ducked in no flying either. Oh, that was, that was close. <laughs> that was a big knee. Don't want to duck in for a takedown while the guy throws that flying knee, but he's so quick with it, though. The other thing here, though, is why go for that takedown, Rob, when you're doing so well in the stand-up exchanges? That's right. Both these guys at the moment trading very, very well. Very evenly matched as Ross Pointon now loses his balance, and Marios goes in. Big flying knee. Doesn't quite connect. And now both men are cut. Ross is cut under the right eye. If you're going to get cut, it's, it's a better place to have it. That's right, and now they clinch. Not for long. Marios with a cut on the left eye, pointing with a cut under the right. Both guys very evenly matched in stand-up at the moment. Big, yeah, big shot by Marios again. Yeah. Marios is coming back with that right head kick. You know, somebody could go down after in this thing. Pointon's cut heavily over the left eye as well now, Steve. Big takedown by Pointon, and uh, Myers almost swept him, but not. 
Smart move for point and he must have sensed the cut. Took Marios to grand, yes, grand the position. Cut, the cut of the left eye is far more serious this time. Yeah, there's a lot of blood here. Yeah, it's actually dripping quite badly. The referee, Grant Walman, looking in, get the doctor to have a look. Yes, it's a bad cut on Pointon. Yeah, you can see the amount of blood that's actually on Marius. It was in one of those slugging exchanges. I think it was that sharp right hand from Marius. And it's over, it's over. That is such a shame Whoa, Pointon. It really is. We had a great match in front of us, but that, oh, that cut is just... That's yeah. A, that's a third eye right there. That's a big, big, bad cut. So Marios remains triumphant again, guys. He was just beginning, to be honest, to turn the tide as well, wasn't he? He really was, because he was taking the best that Poynton had to offer, and he was coming forward, and it was that big punching exchange. Uh, I believe it was that right hook, it was almost a jab hook, uh, because he's a southpaw. He really torqued that punch, and that sliced Ross real good. Yes, and that is as nasty as it comes with cuts. Look at that, guys. That is a deep, deep oh. cut. That is huge. That's going to need some stitches. But this man here will be back. I'd like to see a rematch of these two guys. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. I really feel that it was just turning in Maros's favor. But it was, again, a great scrap. And once again, this man has never been in a bad fight. There it was. Yeah, it was, it was a slicing right hand. And Marius is just coming back. Boy, Marius really got fired up because he could feel Ross starting to get strong, but maybe he felt him starting to weaken just a little bit. Beautiful high kick by Marius through some fantastic combinations by both fighters. An absolute epic battle, guys, that could have maybe gone on for another round. And as Steven said, this would make a great rematch on a future cage rage. Absolutely, because Ross was not beaten mentally. It's just a matter of the scar tissue or the cut above the eye. You just can't really let a fight like that go. It's just uh, a little bit too much bleeding. That's right. When they talk about cage rage 24, feel the pain. This is what they meant. Zeromskis is on the floor in that particular situation. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 39 seconds of round two, the doctor got a hawk to this contest in favor of your winner, Marion!